Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Super excited today. Why? Because we got my beloved last build that we did in the Lee & Lee PC-011 Dynamic. I uh, love this case. Um, if you saw this build, I make sure I put the card up at the top left right hand corner. Um, but if you saw this, you know I only did this build with a 280 millimeter uh, NZXT X63 cooler. And so now we have the, I splurged a little bit, okay? Because we have the Z73 360 millimeter cooler. It comes with 320 millimeter fans, so it's gonna come all the way across. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna check this out. One of the things I love about this is not only um, is it going to allow me to be able to run my fans at a lower RPM, um, but also look at the LCD screen uh, that's gonna be on here. So definitely gonna check that out. Have some fun with it. Um, we're also doing an upgrade to the NVMe drive. This is the Samsung 980 Pro. Um, and yes, this is the new drive. This is the two terabyte um, version, generation four. And what's crazy, these speeds get up to 7,000 megabits per second. So <laughs> yes, sir. So yeah, let's get cracking. So we have the 980 Pro here. Um, I'm actually going to uh, put it in this bottom slot. And that's because the bottom slot has the 970 Evo, which is 500 gigabytes. Uh, this is the one that I am actually going to put into my streaming rig. So uh, let's do this. And as you can see here, it has the heat spreader uh, on here. And it's actually, you know, you probably heard people say this so many different times, but it's like a stick of gum, all right? And so boom, that comes off. And so that is the 970 Evo. Okay, now we get a little close-up action right there. You can be able to see the drive. And so what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and actually stick this in. This back in over on top. Okay, easy job, done. Next step is taking off the actual cooler. Um, and then we'll prepare the actual Z73. Boom, and as you can see, we put a good amount of thermal paste. It was doing its job, and now we gotta clean that off. <laughs> so we gotta clean the CPU off, clean this off, and then unscrew this and take it out, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so I need to screw these off. Um, I just cleaned off the actual pump head and the CPU. And see if I can leave that like that. Yep. All right. So we're going to take out this back panel. I'm about to take the radiator out. So I got the cooler and the pump out. Let's open up this bad boy. Gotta love the purple, right? Right. I'm actually going to read this book, so. <laughs> it's my first time having a 360 millimeter AIO. I've always had 280s and 240s, never a 360. So I'm actually super excited about that. Um, we have the fans. Uh, let's see. This is the USB connector. We have AM4 screws and brackets. So we have the radiator. We have the pump head. It comes pre-applied with that, but we actually have our own Hydronaut uh, thermal paste that we're gonna use because, yeah, not taking any chances. 
Uh, even though these work just fine, I, you know, I want to get the best cooling possible. So we have a total of 320 millimeter fans. We're going to read to see if the bracket that's on here is an Intel bracket or an AM4 bracket. We're going to find out. All right, so this is the AMD retention bracket. So we will have to put this on the pump head. So we got to take off the other bracket because it's Intel. Take this off so I could go ahead and so, ooh, nice. We got the LCD screen and then you have the protector here. So this actually twists and comes off. This is for the Intel. This is the Intel bracket. Uh, we're going to put on the AMD bracket. And it should just be another twist and lock, right? The thermal paste that comes on here is really not good for overclocking. Just keep that in mind, you know, when you're looking at this and you're doing this, is that the thermal paste that comes included uh, with the AIO is good for, you know, like factory type stuff, not for overclocking. So if you ever decide to overclock, you need a better thermal paste. Let's get the fans attached to the radiator. Let's do that. Because once we get ready to get the CPU block on here, that's gonna be gang time. So yeah, the way that this is set up, um, the fans, this right here, is gonna be pulling air out the case. It needs to be facing this way and the cables need to come out. This is actually gonna be the back. Um, because it's going to go back out through the motherboard. So when we install these, it needs to go like that. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I ran the actual cables um, so I could be able to lay this on his back uh, for the AIO. Um, so we have the USB... Uh, cable right here, I already uh, plugged it in down at the bottom of the motherboard. Um, and then we have the um, the controller and then the actual connector for the CPU fan. So actually, um, I am going to connect that right now. So the next thing that we need to do is actually take off these brackets. And there are um, the actual um, mounting through and these that came in the packet. So uh, with the um, Z73. So we're gonna screw off the other ones. And you want to do like an air cooler, you're gonna need this <laughs> these brackets. So uh, make sure you save those. Okay, so what I had to do is I actually needed to lean this forward because of the, <laughs> the mount. They were recessed back into the hole, so I needed to sit this up so I could screw these on appropriately. So once you get one on, the other ones, they actually come out a little bit. So that helps. All right, let's get this radiator. Okay, so we're gonna use Hydronut, uh, but we need to clean off the pre-applied thermal paste first. So let's do that. I like using the X, that has worked for me, and I am going to continue with the X. put this down here just right all right so we're gonna screw these down the bolts okay let's go ahead and turn this on make sure everything is working and yes all right so if you see the NZST logo is turned 90 degrees inside the cam software uh, we'll be able to rotate that back. And so uh, we're gonna take a look at that, but just wanna make sure that uh, if we're good to go as far as booting up and going into Windows. Okay, let's go ahead and 
peel off this uh, plastic here. Whew. Such a satisfying sound. And as you can see, it shows the temperature right now of the CPU. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can be able to get that flipped. Okay, so you're probably trying to figure out uh, how we're going to flip this. So when we go to the NZXT Cam software, and I'll actually do a screen capture on this and I'll show it to you. But just for so you can see it right now, uh, we're going to flip this 90 degrees. Uh, maybe negative 90 degrees. Yep, there we go. Boom, we got it. So no matter how you, you know, have the orientation, we can always be able to fix it. And so now you can be able to see the uh, CPU uh, temp and the GPU temp, uh, but we got it. All right, y'all, so we got the AIO installed. Uh, let's take a look at NZXT real quick. Uh, computer has been sitting idle. Um, I am pretty much getting around the same temps that I was getting, uh, but I could barely hear my fans. Um, my actual fan speed right now is at uh, 1244, which is actually a little bit lower. It was close to 1300 on the other ones, but it's a little bit lower now. Uh, pump speed is still, still up there, but uh system is looking good um i just want to show you something real quick um uh, some of the changes and stuff that you could be able to make um on the inside here i actually have my logo listed in here but if i wanted to i could actually change that over to uh let's see i could do dual infographic we also have cpu temperature and you know we could change around the colors and all that stuff if we wanted to um, we also have uh, liquid temperature. Um, we have GPU temp. We have CPU load. GPU load. And we have CPU clock speed. Now, another option on here also, uh, if I scroll down a little bit, um, is carousel and this is where it will actually change through all the different states um, every five seconds so every five seconds uh, this will actually change to a different state and we can actually add in here all the different states that we want and so if you wanted to um, I could choose liquid temp hit save I could choose uh, you know gpu temp whatever it is that you want to see you know depending on where you have your actual you know your computer case and you could be able to look at this you know for me it's off to my left i'm um, gonna do gpu clock speed and if i wanted to i can go in here and i could change the actual colors um and i can make it different for each one and i could save it uh, to have it switch in between these two um also going back to the GIF here, um, I have my logo um, that's here and I was able to set that up. I couldn't show you earlier where I was going to to change the actual orientation. Um, so if I had it on like uh, the dual graphic uh, infographic, I go here to about cracking and then I can actually change it here um, and I can rotate this zero degrees. I can do 180 degrees. Um, and this actually changes um, the actual orientation on um, the AIO LCD screen itself. Um, so the way that I had the orientation, I have it set at negative 90 degrees. So I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Um, let's take a look at some of the B-roll. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh -huh.